Good day, Lords and Ladies, and welcome back to Battle Brothers Beginner's Guide as we get back into the campaign. We're doing okay. If we just look at, quickly look at our men, um, morale is average. I want be slightly better equipment for all of them. I'm not happy with his armor or his. So I want to try and get a bit, and his, he needs a bit better armor as well. So, but there's, some, there's still bits and pieces we need to do. But first, we've got to run down here. Hopefully complete the ambition without taking us too long. If we're lucky we may run into the bandits who are down here as well. And hopefully this will complete our quest, our ambition to visit every town and fortification in the world. It may not, I'm not totally sure. I don't know. Raider trade routes. Uh, stuff here is expensive. It's because they got raided trade routes. But they have that, which is nice. And they have... Uh, I couldn't see the one. I thought it was 23 for a second. I got excited. Um, let's see what this job is. A man strums a string instrument. You walk by, he slashes on the earpiece, an earpiece and cord and turns to find you laughing. Here, I thought your mind find this might fetch your attention. Ruman the Elder said he should keep a lookout for a man of your vocation. If you're looking for work, the man's he's the man to go to. Um, you ask if the figurehead pays well, and the man nods. Yep, he gave me this here loot to pay for payment once. Now I'm just waiting for the old devils to come down and challenge me to a tune. Let's see what he has to hear. This might be a strange question, but are you interested? Are you in making a delivery for me? Um, it's basically a delivery. I see him as a good key. We need to be paid more. Deliver it to Furnace World. Okay, accept the contract. Right, so that isn't the place to do it. It must be somewhere. It must be one of these two then that I haven't been to. Northwest. Where are we going? Oh, sorry. Furnace World. Uh, all the way up there. Okay, that's further than I thought. I should have checked, folks. Bit of my own fault, to be honest. Take us a little bit of time. Just delivering a cargo. Race up here quickly. Still got a bit of money. Food is going to be the thing that's going to hit us next if we're not careful. So we do need to make some cash relatively soon. But we'll run up here. A few brothers come back to you with the most curious stories. Apparently, Rogue, the over sword footed cell sword, managed to make a bit of a name for himself in Soot's Helm. While the caressing blade of the tavern, the banister broke, and the damsel went careening downwards with a horn of ale in one hand and the wench wrapped in the tender grip of the other, the mercenary stuck out his foot and managed to catch the falling mistress on the toe of his boot, quite literally balancing her heel, balancing her to heel once. Once more, much to the royal players and the, uh, the inebriated crowd below, you ask where he is now, the mercenary laughs, dropping trow with, a, with, a, with the easily impressed, what else? Right, okay, so. So let's pick up the pace. Hopefully this won't cost us too much, it might, to be honest. 200... Some brigands... We could take these guys, if we wanted to. But, ah, uh, not going to. It's got to drop off this cargo as quickly as we can. Before we lose too much money. Do they have any work in here? Level 2 contract. Right, okay, so we still need to get up to here. Hopefully we can find some work to take us back down south. Oh, that food situation is looking bad. Money, we've got five days worth. If we don't push it, we'll probably just break even. Which I'm not happy about. It's running off in this direction. Okay, we get crowns, so that's not too bad. There's just some work here, which is good. Um, nothing worth buying, really, to be honest, folks. Maybe grab some arrows, just to keep us going that way. And there is some armor. Now, I am tempted, I am not going to lie. I am going to get it, even though it will take us a bit of repair work. 
because I really... Oh, there's another one as well. Yeah, I'll do it and we'll take a job. What's this? It's just a lot of you. This man can solve our problems. Sell sword of problems. A relic. Okay, it's a relic job. I oh, need to be paid more for this. Okay. Stirring's crypt. We know where that one is. How much food we have? Three days worth. Oh, there's nothing cheap here. Um, I'll grab a little bit of fish, which is going to hurt us a lot, but. I really wanted that armor. Um, because it means that I can get my front front rank kitted out properly. Can get them fitted out with armor. Their stamina will be low, but we can fix that. Um, and these guys can actually. Nah, they're not. I haven't got actually too bad gear on, to be honest. How's his gear look? Okay. Right, so three days worth of pay. We have to rush up here quickly. We should be able to do it. Four days worth of food. Some orc younglings. Ugh, only two days worth of pay. That's bad. Because it's costing us 140 crowns a day. Right. Before we get there, I'm going to see this. It's going to run away from this fight. I don't like fighting these tomb fights, so I'll see you guys in a second. And we're back, folks. That was a lot closer this time than the last one was. We had to be careful. They were catching us in the snow. It was not good. Right, we're low on cash. Really low on cash. So we need to rush back down here, get paid, and find some more work as soon as possible. Pay, they're in high spirits. What was this level 2 contract? Got a shipment well doesn't concern you, but it needs to be the second hold. How much are we talking about? We need to be paid more for this. Okay. Southeast. Scutum held. Right, so are we taking this? No, we don't want to cancel the ambition. So it's down to here. That's not too bad. 400 gold. That'd be okay. Then we can then go and complete the ambition. Oh, we had, we're doing a caravan escort? Oh, that's different. Okay. Um, that's bad. I didn't realise it was a caravan escort. Do we have enough food to get there? That's the question. I don't like caravan escort. Uh, I really shouldn't have done a caravan escort didn't realise, I thought it was just going to be carrying goods. Okay, so we have to be really on our ball game here, folks. Food, we're okay, money, it's going to be the thing that's going to get us if we're not careful. Brigands, this is the area, it's rife with brigands. We might just have got through it, fortunately. Four days worth of pay... Come on, come on. While on the march you come across a lone cow standing in the field, not much of it, just a cow, but when Baba sli slides up to you, he he's gnawing on some broom straw and twists it around as he talks. So who do you think who do you think can do it, you ask you you ask, do what? He smiles. Oh sorry, Cap, didn't realise you hadn't heard. We've got to see who someone can knock over that cow. I think Big Joe is strong enough to do it. You figure the stronger and burlier Big Joe could give the cow a good tipping. You awkwardly word along you, you awkwardly wording along has men laughing, but the Big Joe respectfully bows. I am honoured, sir. That's right, I am coming. The more emphasizing issue around, despite the laughter of the company, Big Joe charges the cow. At first you simply press it against the side, muscles, and heaving with breath, the man laughs at his efforts to get him nowhere, but then quickly quiet down as the cow slides across the mud and into the grass. With a mighty roar, Big Joe surges forward. And the cow fa falls sideways with a, co a confused moo. Erling stands a slack jawed. It was a joke. He didn't think it was actually possible. So everybody is content. Though Big Joe gets fatigue. Right, so. 
We're really low on food. How long would this... Our grain won't hold out much longer either. Curses, okay. Brigands were chasing us, but they gave up. Right. Well supplied. We have an outstanding contract. Brigands, some thugs, some brigand raiders. First off, I need food. Very badly. Because my stuff is about to run out. So, get that. Most of this stuff was going to go bad, which is sucks. Um, and the raid is coming. So, I'm going to get in the mountains. Unless this job is something straightforward. It's got caravan Harkins in the southeast. Where's Harkins? Oh no, hell no. I'm not going all the way down there, that's suicide. Right, so we've got a bit of money. I gotta think it's this city. It's one of the two down here that I haven't been to, which is the one that completes our ambition. And I want to get that ambition completed. We haven't had any fighting this episode either, so I'll definitely get a fight in. Yeah, this grain's gonna go bad. Uh, lots of people on the road. Four days pay. We may just have to t bite it and take a big contract. I'm not happy with taking level 2 contracts at the moment because we're not really got the gear for it. Um, do they have any cheap grain? No, not really. That's a level 2 contract. What is it? Let's talk money. No! We need to be paid more than this, fair enough. Rothwell, okay. Where's Roth uh, Rothwell's down there? Need some time to think. Oh, Rothwell is literally right there. Okay, fine. Yeah, accept it. As long as we don't get hit by bandits on the road. Right, okay. Right, so it comes daytime. Ooh, cheap grain. Excellent, that's what I wanted. Right, so... You have cheap grain. Visit the town. Okay, we can actually see here. There's still some settlement in Sternberg. Where's Sternberg? Oh, I thought I'd just visited that place. So that's my own fault. Okay, I can get a fit. I can get a boat up that way, but we'd need to get earn a bit of money first because we'd have to take a boat. Right, let's go across the pond. Um, uh, there's a bandit hideout. Many bandit thugs. Let's fight there. Let's do it. And there's people down there as well. Many bandit thugs. Let's take this fight. Let's see how many we're facing. 8 versus 12. There's no height advantage. Okay, and they're all got melee weapons. But we should be able to do this. Let's give them a turn to advance. Be careful. Some of them have got relatively nice daggers. Which I'd like to claim as my own if I could. Let's get everybody advancing. Right, okay. Let me get the first person up who I haven't had in the turn order. Delay, delay. Okay, here we go. So, get that up. Get him sealed walling. He's okay where he is. 
First off, who do you want to shoot? 68. Uh, let's get him because he's in the back and he's got a dagger and a nasty. Get him squarely through the chest with a crossbow bolt. He sort of staggers and steps back. He can't do anything. Shield wall up. Archers. Focus fire. Fat little did that, did me. Right, okay. Oh, I got the man behind him. We got the man behind him twice. He's not going to be liking that. He's going to try and get for our armor. The guy who took a crossbow boat. Actually, one second, I just realized my mistake. Uh, I had fast AI movement. Which I have when I'm basically doing those um, tomb battles because it just speeds things up. Ouch. Oh, I got rid of his hood, that's bad. Stab him. Missed. Fool that you are. Stab him. Kill him outright. Excellent. In the sour of blood, the guy sort of goes down. He sort of squeals as he dies. Skewered like a pig. Right, so who do you want to shoot next? Uh, we can shoot him. Probably is a good idea. Get one of these guys. Kill him out for sure. Kill him out for sure. Probably got to go with him because he's a threat down the bottom. Take an at crossbow bar. He kicks a crossbow at bolt to the chest. Right, do we want to push? This is the question. Let's see what they do first. But first, we've got to slash him up. Okay, so let's see. He's got like cut a kick. Like, yeah, the, one of us holding steps and it's like cuts him deep in the leg. And f Come on. Kill him outright. That's good. And put an arrow into this block here. Seriously, dude? Okay, fine. This is how you do it. Okay, we could probably advance to be honest. Let's just see how this bloke's gonna go. Yeah, okay, we're gonna advance. Okay, he dodged, that's not great. Oh, he's got a cleaver, that's worrisome. Cleavers can do the capitation and he's got hasn't got a helmet on. He's got a push in as well, okay. Alright, let's go. Kill the kill the brigands. Right. I was hoping that was gonna work. So we need him dead because he's a massive threat. Because he's got a cleaver. So we killed him outright with a crossbow bolt to the chest. Um Go here. Actually we'll go here. We use most of our fatigue to do it, but it's a good thing because it means that we can get him up and he still has mood fatigue left to action. I'll uh, cut him open. Oh, that guy keeps dodging. Get in there. I was hoping that was going to break morale. No such luck. Put an arrow into it. Alright, dazed him. Get up here. These guys are squirrely. So. Kill him outright. Excellent. Means he can move up. Stab in the back of the neck. He's stunned. So he misses turn. He's going to try and run and we kill him. Kill him with a pitchfork thrust. Our guys took a little bit of damage. Um, not a load, but a little bit. Headshot. Finished him with a headshot. Took a little bit of damage. He took a, a big chunk of damage, to be honest. Got salt, which is nice, which is a trading item. And got some decent armors. A bit of money.
please tell me I picked that armor up. Through, yeah, this is the thing I should say above all else, folks. I forgot to mention it. But the first thing when you start any game, go in and turn on auto loot. Um, purely because it's so easy to forget to press the um to pick up funks and you can lose really good gear otherwise. I've done it so I've done it myself, it's really bad, it's really frustrating. Big Joe leveled up. Right, what do you want to get him? Initiative is not bad. Stamina would be good for him, to be honest. Stamina that's I probably have to get his melee defense up as well. Perks. Gifted is a very useful one early on. Get that up. Melee defense and range defense because the, he doesn't have anything besides those, so I always buffed him for my great weapon users. Okay, so Asdaf, he leveled up. Initiative isn't isn't bad, but I will put another ping into it because it's free. Get that up. Get his weapon skill up. Morale is okay. Fatigue is low. To be honest, all of these are low. Um, two for health isn't great. Two for fatigue is... Uh, initiative, I mean, morale would be nice to get it over that. Mm. Get his range defense up probably is a good thing. Especially when we have later people chucking stuff. Right. Gifted. I get gifted early on a lot because it's very useful. Okay, so I'm going to go... Let's see. Four would be nice, but I'm probably going to go... Stamina, get his stamina up. Um, 2020. Yeah, it's not too bad. Um, health... Yeah, that's not too bad. I like having my frontliners with a lot of health, especially later on. Okay. Get that. Uh, that one isn't worth it. I'm probably going to go fatigue and morale. What perk do we want to get him with? Sealed expert is useful. Sealed bonus bonus increased by 25. It also applies to additional defenses bonus of se uh, sealed wall skill. Additional sealed damage received is reduced by 50% to a minimum of 1, which is very nice. Um, Brawny is always good because it reduces fatigue and this dependency for wearing armor and helmet is reduced by 30%, which is nice because it gives them a lot more. Rotation is very good. Rally to troops. Taunt. Is, uh, there's a lot of really good ones. Um... Steelbeck Expert is very, very useful. Um, Brawny is very useful because it gives you a lot more fatigue. Rotation is really good because it allows you to pull people out of sticky situations. Though, though because he's in in something like that, Quick Learner gives you more experience. I'm probably going to make him give him Sealed Expert because this guy is going to be on the front line. He gets to level up. Right. So, Weapon Skill... Health, because his health is low as anything. Um, his morale is so bad. I have to buff it. And we'll give him Colossus to give him decent pool of health, but his morale is bad. He needs to have it buffed. That's going to take time to fix. What's that? That's 70. Right, is anybody in here could used to getting switched out from their gear? Yeah. You get that. You get that. I'm not happy with the hoods. I'm still not happy with the hoods. Um, I'd like better hoods. We got another cleaver which is useful if we're going up against undead. So we wipe those guys out. We can cross the strait relatively quickly. 
Yeah, it did. It did give us a lot of problems with tools. Um, we should be able to get a bit of fix on it. See if they have any work down here quickly before the day runs out. Ah, they do. Excellent. Any cheap food? Ah, not too bad on stuff actually for a change. Very nice. Tools are expensive as always. Hoods. They have some hoods. Oh, I really need some better hoods. Um, I might do some work here then and get some hoods. I'm gonna sell off these. How much is that salt going for? This is a good place to price for salt, actually. So we'll buy that. And with that money, I am going to buy... I am going to buy these hoods. There is a reason for it. I do not like my frontliners having... Um... Yeah, I just... I don't like them having... Such rubbishy headgear. Because they get targeted by everything. Um, so, whenever I can, I like them to have decent head headgear. He's got 40. I'll give him that, because he's my best archer, and I don't want him to get sniped. Right, so, there we go. So we've got a better, relatively okay setup, headwear-wise. Our fatigue is a bit low, we have to work on getting their fatigue up. His health is a little low, but we can fix that. Uh, yeah, not too bad, not too bad. Money, as always, with me is a little bit of trouble, but we should be okay. Um, let's see what jobs they have quickly before the end of the session. How are you doing, Cell Sword? If you're wondering, one Zor the Steward has been looking for you. Suppose he's been wanting to see you too, if he's interested in some business. I'm all ears. Cell Sword, familiar how dangerous the roads are these days? Good. Uh, it's an escort job. Um, we need to be paid more for this. Escort to roof in uh, 240. Uh, I need some time to think about it. That's not worth it. Um, roof is on the other side of that, like, of that um, peninsula. So it will take us a while to get there. And 240 isn't very much. Here, Mestine. Holmo of Cornwall has been looking for you, says a shepherd. I hear you have a nose of finding people sell source for solving problems. Good, good. I have a task for you. A simple one. Something of great value has been stolen. We need to be paid more for this. 700, so, seven gra so 70 gold up front and 300 once the job is done. For the tracks near Crimwald, return the idol of fertility to, to Crimwald. Okay, yep, yeah, okay. Okay, so they're fleeing this way. Let's try and catch up with them before they get too far out of the way. What are we looking at? Thieves, many brigand thugs. Uh, if it's dawn, yeah, I'm gonna fight him right now. It may make the episode a little longer, but we should be able to do it relatively quickly, folks. So we have two lovely fights. Lots of thugs. The thieves are quite human, simple crew of vagabonds and brigands. They arm themselves in order to them to attack. You can get stuff like necromancers and all kinds of stuff turning up in these fights. Right, so here we go. There's no penalties. Excellent. We outnumber them, and as long as we don't do anything particularly stupid, that great axe is going to be a pain. So let's delay a turn to see how they react. Okay, they're going to push that. F it's 7 on 12. So let's see how they go. None of them have, well, only a few of them have dirks. Let's start off by shooting him. We missed, but we took, we got a good hit in. You're going to spear wall up. And he's going to try and flank, okay. So, try and kill him if you can. So we got him in the arm, well, in the leg. Both of them took leg hits, which is excellent. Okay, so, sealed wall. Spear and shield wall. Get ready. We can't get the great weapon user, which is a pain. 
So we're gonna suit this guy because we got he's got the highest armor, so we want to get through pierced arm muscle, which is good because it means that will give him a penalty. If you can inflict injuries, it's always good because injuries always inflict stat debuffs. So getting traits that give you the ability to inflict injuries easier is always super useful. Right, okay, let's just see how he goes. Which way is he going? He's going to go up there. Yeah, because this guy didn't sealed wall. Yeah. I thought that was what was going to happen. Killed him outright. Oh, he's going down there. Okay. Hit the great weapons user first because he's the biggest threat. That's not good. All focus on the great weapons user. Headshot. Kill him outright. I don't want the great weapons user basically doing anything. Um, and then we are going to miss with him, which just sucks. We're going to suit him and miss as well, which also sucks. Come on. Just keep, put a few more arrows into people, please. Cut his arm wide open before killing him off, which is nice. Miss. He's got to probably... These guys actually might flee, to be honest. I was hoping they were going to flee. Ah, that was a nasty hit. Okay. Um, get to their spear wall, because it stops these guys from pushing up. Get here to help. Great weapon user can move up here. He's probably going to come down. Yeah. Nasty hit. Trying to gang up, are you? Okay. Dodged. Annoying. But we killed him. Stabbed him, which is excellent because his morale's broken. Killed him outright, which is excellent. Move up here. Miss. Which is always annoying. Move him down here. To stop piling in so they have less chance to escape. Get here, shoot over the wall. Get him in the face with an arrow so he's got to break and run. Kill him outright. This guy's got to try and run. But it's over. We took some damage, which is not great, because it means we have to repair tools and got a bit of junk. Though that dagger is very nice. Make sure I get that up all else. Take everything else. Battle is done, the idea should be probably returned for your reward. Um, no one leveled up. We took some damage. Yeah. Actually, we took a lot of tool damage, a lot of gear damage, which sucks. Because that will cost us quite a bit to repair tool-wise. So we need to get across the straight again. Thank you, Cellsword. This means a lot to me, I mean, uh, to the town. Here, you have our gratitude. Our gratitude, Cellsword, as he sort of strokes the idol creepily. Get 300 gold. Right, so we get a bit of money. Tools are expensive. Let's see if we can catch a ship up. Holland's is, Holland's is probably the closest one we can do. That's 600 gold. What? Mm. I'd rather just walk it myself if it's going to cost that much. Um, food loss is five days. That's okay. I'm going to get rid of some of this stuff, just to raise a little bit of extra cash. Nothing here that we want. Uh, that wouldn't be too bad. But if we're marching north, we're going to need supplies and money and stuff, so I'm probably not going to spend it right now. Is there anybody worth picking up in the town? Eunuch. Lots of fishermen. Ah, there's Luna the Butcher, which is... Very expensive for what he is. 
level three. So level three with armor and a warhammer. Well, yeah, with a warhammer. So, um, perhaps, but uh, not in the mood to hire anybody new right now. Right. So, as we stand, we have our tools are a bit low. We have to fix that. Um, ammunition is okay. Food is okay. Money is not too bad. And we're going to start moving north to get up here to complete the objective. Um, I've been Cornish Knight. If you have liked, please press the like button. If you have subscribed, please press the subscription button. You can follow me on Twitter. You can follow me on Steam. Or you can leave a comment in the comment section. And I shall get back in contact with you. I shall see you all next time on the next episode of Battle Brothers The Beginner's Guide. Goodbye, folks.